Hey guys, what's up? My name is Susie, aka Spectre, and you are now watching this week's edition of Ask Spectre. Welcome to the Spectral Realm. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Spectre, and I'm here with this week's Ask Spectre. Sorry that it's a little bit late. Um, as you can see, there have been lots of changes going on. For one, I painted. Woo. Um, I do absolutely miss the murder room red. Um, <laughs> the craft layer has gone through a lot of exciting changes lately, but this color uh, lets in more light. I had it left over from doing 50 other projects in the money pit that I live in, so I was like, meh, whatever, it'll help uh, neutralize it and let more light in. Um, I work, so it's late in the day, and obviously there's lots of shadows, but anyway, super fun. Also, got a new dog. The dogs are over there, you probably can't see them. Sleeping, so they're going to help me, uh, they're my backup, making sure everything goes okay. Other than that, a um, couple new things going on, really excited. This uh, episode marks the first sponsorship that I've ever gotten, so uh, this episode does have an official sponsor, and it's really exciting. Um, we even got a question from the owner and operator of uh, the company, so with that being said, I'm going to start trying to answer some questions. I'll try to be brief, but you know how I do, so... First of all, I'd like to start out with a question from the owner and operator of Black Box Subscriptions. Black Box Subscriptions brings you a hand-curated collection of darkly-themed goodies. Accessories, stickers, jewelry, home decor, and more. Make sure you check it out at blackboxsubscriptions.com. So, yeah, super excited. I'm so excited. Um, just to note also, you, you may notice a, a new sense of clarity to uh, what's going on here. I also got a new toy. I got a new toy. The precious. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I got a new camera. Um, it was a, a small investment and took me a long time to get here, but I'm super excited to play with it and film all the things. Um, I have been filming since forever. I've been filming since probably 2005. I did film with family's cameras before that as a kid, but I don't own any of those films and I'm really sad. Um, but uh, I've been around since, I've been on YouTube, I guess, since YouTube. I was around since before Lonely Girl. Back when SXE Phil had one video and we liked it. <laughs> um, I've been YouTubing for a long time and I my original channel is gone. But I think my current oldest channel is from 2007. And the reason I bring all that up is because uh, we have a question from Vix Secundus. Owner and operator of Black Box Subscriptions. And she asked me, what are my current long-term goals? Um, as many of you know, I went on tour with a band called The Crew Shadows, and I danced with them, and I went to Europe, and I lived a dream that I had been trying to achieve for many, many, many years. I learned a lot of things, and I saw a lot of stuff, and I've got a lot of video of it, and that's going to come out soon, too. And I... I'm not doing that this summer and like in my heart there's a sense of, of sadness but there's also a sense of excitement because right now I have the freedom to pretty much do whatever I want and I'm hoping in the next few weeks um, to show you guys some things I've been working on but I can't talk about some of them. Dang it. But um, I started my YouTube originally because when I moved to the city I live in um, in the city outside of it, many, I guess back in 2007, I'd uh, just gone through the worst time in my whole life. I was literally homeless. I had nothing. And um, 
I'm not gonna really get into the sob story at the moment, but it uh, it was I had kind of bottomed out and I had lost myself, and so thus began uh, the adventure of finding myself. And I've done so many things in the last, even just the last five years. I've done things I never thought I would do. Um, I've achieved a multitude of dreams. I have experienced wonders, you know, and um, I guess one of my current goals for the future is to take all those things I've experienced and take all the video that I've been hoarding for years and years and years and share it. My original goal for my YouTube was to share uh, the cacophony of my life, the cacophony of my life. And it was really because, um, you may not know this, but a long time ago I used to be terrified of everything. Um, I constantly looked at the ground when I walked. Um, I was a backpack kid. I was always like, don't look at it, don't look at it. There was a while where I didn't talk to people and look at them, and that was really weird, but I didn't understand how weird that was. Um, I was just extremely socially awkward. Yes, I know, that's probably... <laughs> Hard to um, imagine because now I'm like blah blah blah. I'm gonna talk for hours and put it on the internet. Um, but anyway, I I wanted I had to kind of like grow out of all that. I became a different person, found a lot of self confidence, and had the bravery to do a lot of things I never thought I would do. Um, and a lot of it started with belly dance. I've been dancing for over 25 years, 20 almost 26. <laughs> Getting old, but. Um, I want to dance more. I want to show all the videos I've filmed and I absolutely definitely want to show you guys what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm excited to show you why I painted the craft room. Um, I'm excited to show you that I got a new camera. I have a new dog. Everything is exciting. So much excite. All the excite. So anyway, <laughs> that being said, that is sort of my, my current goals other than getting through convention season without dying. Um, recently for Tokyo and Tulsa, I marched in the Pride 2016 parade and that was super fun. Um, I've got some stuff coming up for Tokyo and Tulsa. I've got maybe some other conventions like GlitchCon, um, costumes, a bunch of tutorials, and all the things. So yay, current goals. I've decided that everybody that asked a question today, because I only got a couple, except for one of them because she already had the album, but I'm gonna give everybody um, the new album by Musum. It's called Sea of Ghosts. And if you like the music that you've heard in the intro, if you like the music you've heard on the episode, or you would just like to check it out, I'm going to put a link down below so you can check out the, um, it's an amazing album. My sister did vocals for it. It has an amazing amount of people on it. A lot of people contributed and it's probably the best album that Musum has ever done in my opinion. But anywho pants, we have another question, and I had to take a picture because I couldn't remember all of it in my head because I'm really old. My new dog is snoring. He's so funny. He's so fat. He's a fatters. All right. <laughs> uh, question from Derek Beelan. Are you and your husband in town? I still need someone to help me write a dark musical. Uh, define in town, but sure, dark musical. I could, I could do that. I could be in the chorus line. I could, uh, I got some high kicks. I can kick and I can stretch. Um, yeah, I really don't know how to answer that. We're around. Hit us up. What's up? Um, that being said, being in the chorus line, I will get to our last question. I will try to surmise. Uh, one of my great friends and somebody who has helped me in the past make many a costume and just been on crazy, crazy adventures uh, with me is my friend Rachel. Rachel asks, <laughs> when are we going to start working on the new Victorian Ghost Bride Spectre costume again? The answer is all the times. We must do all the times of all times. 
Um, she says, since you yourself have been laying down vocal tracks on at least one amusement album, have you ever thought about writing and singing any music of your own? If not the music, the lyrics at least. I don't mean like you've done before, but like as Spectre, not as vocals for Musum. Okay, Panky, exciting. Um, first of all, you may not know this, but I have been writing songs and music and lyrics for since I was a kid. <laughs> um, back in the day, one of the things my sister and I used to do for fun is we would take a boombox that we had that had cassette tapes, and when we would go to yard sales or something, we would get old cassette tapes and we would make fake radio shows. It was one of the first things I remember us recording. And we used to record the radio and we would record ourselves in between doing psychotic little children things that little children do. And uh, for those of you that she has let listen to those, don't tell me, I will find you. And they will not find the body. And, and my sister, uh, if, you, if you're watching this, you need to quit that. You need to quit that. <laughs> Just stop it. I have so much blackmail. Uh, but anyway, um, I, I have never been classically trained in an instrument. That because, that's because I am a dancer. I've always been a dancer. I uh, started out with gymnastics, so that didn't go very well when I was like seven and already ten feet taller than everybody else. And Well, I mean, I started with ballet and jazz, but I also really loved gymnastics and tumbling, and I have never been an instrument person. Um, I've played lots and lots of percussion. The only instrument that I've ever attempted to classically train myself in was the drums. And I got pretty far with it, but some really bad stuff had happened in my life at that time, and I kind of lost my focus. And I was really excited because I was able to give uh, those to someone who used them to learn. So that was exciting. I've played lots of hand drums and all kinds of weird assortment of instruments with um, belly dancing and all kinds of things. But for me, what I used to do, especially when I had a song in my head or music in my head, I would just sort of hum it or record it. And I have a vast collection of recordings of myself, probably sounds like schizophrenia, um, and notebooks and things that are full of lyrics and songs and things to help me remember what those songs sounded like in my head. That being said, will I ever publish any of them? Probably not. <laughs> I don't want to say that I never will. Um, I'd love to. I have actually in the past attempted to get into music collabs with people. But as anybody who is an artist, especially a performance artist, knows, one of the biggest issues with collabs, especially if it's not like, hey, let's tour together because I think it would be beneficial to us both, is that when you get into like people getting, you know, like, this is what I want to say and this is what I want to say, a lot of times um, you'll butt heads with people. One of the things I find absolutely hilarious, and I'm going to vent for a second because you asked, so now you're getting it. Um, one of the things I really liked about writing vocals and lyrics and stuff was that I could vent, that I could talk about things that made me angry, things that scared me, um, overcoming adversity, but I also had uh, lyrics and such that were quote-unquote angry or quote-unquote dark or quote-unquote, you know, like introspective, blah, 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 blah which is whatever, because the format of art is supposed to be, in my personal opinion, to express or convey a sense of emotion. One of the things, like for, takes for example, um, there's a song I really like um, that if you listen to the lyrics, it kind of sounds like um, someone asking you to... Uh, It sounds like somebody who's trying to take care of you, like a guardian. It sounds like somebody who's trying to, to um, really, uh, I really don't know how to explain it. The basis of it is, the song is called Let Me Be Your Armor, I believe, by Assemblage 23. Please let that be it. I'm pretty sure that's it. And if you listen to the lyrics of said song, it talks about, you know, let me be your armor, let me be your shield. 
uh, let me take your pain, all these things. And then towards the end of the song, it gets a little bit dark where it's like, you know, talking about taking your life experiences and, and holding on to you and, until, you know, you're, you're hurt by not being let go. And from what I've heard or researched or read, like initially when you listen to it, it sounds like the perfect lover, someone who wants to t cherish you or take care of you or someone that's just absolutely, you know, in love with you. And then later, you know, that love is, is kind of um, overexemplified. But in researching it, um, I, I found that he, he was kind of conveying the, the sense of a stalker, somebody who's so absolutely obsessed with you that their, their over indulgent, over encompassing obsession is like kind of smothering and, and dangerous and can be, you know, hurtful and, and damaging. I love that. I love that. But the people that I tried to work with, and it was not, it was people that I love and know, and some people I'm related to, they were all like, well, your music's really angry, or your music's really dark, or you, your music's really this. And so I was like, whatever, I have something to say. I have something to say, and I want to say it. And so I just never ended up working with anybody. Um, yeah, I have positive songs. I have songs that are so far outside of the gothic industrial genre in their instrumentation that it would be like, you know, why? But I also find that a freedom to me, is I can pretty much do whatever I want uh, for the catharsis, I guess, of doing the art, but I don't know. I, I like writing music, I like singing music, but I will never be a singer like my sister. My sister is literally a siren. She is a very accomplished, very talented, very hard practicing singer um, and songwriter. And um, I will never be able to outshine her in any way in that um, facet. I would love to be uh, behind her, like supporting her, but I would never think that I could be on the level that she's on but then again, I don't consider it a competition. Like, you know, when you look at a flower and you say, oh, that's a beautiful color of bleh, like there's no reason for that flower to be another color. If there is the same breed of, or <laughs> breed, if there's the same variety of flower and it is a different color, you can revel in the beauty of that version of the flower um, or whatever, friggin', you know, oysters or fucking whatever, I don't know. Yo-yos, who cares? I, I am a dancer. I've always been a dancer. I've always personally enjoyed expressing myself through movement more. And I hope in the future to put my love of dance and my love of music and my love of filming and make more dance videos for show. Part of my current goals. Maybe one of them will be a music video to a dark musical. Yes, I have tied them all in. Um, anyway, that being said, I've ranted quite enough. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good week. I'm planning on releasing, if I can, one Ask Spectre a week, one uh, Naked and Scared, because nobody has ever given me a better name for that segment where I play a scary video game. Hopefully now, in the real dark, by myself, slash with my dogs. Because screw you guys, I need my dogs. And, um... I'm also going to attempt once a month to do at least once a month release what I'm calling From the Archives, which is one of the vast assortments of uh, the things I filmed over the years and never released. I hope, and I'll go ahead and give you the first one, um, other than the old ones I did back then, I'm going to shorten the intro, but I, I interviewed Zoog from Angel Spit several times throughout the years. Uh, one of the times I was worried because, like, a show was running really late, and I was like, you know, he's like, hey, yeah, let's go, you know, do the interview. And I'm like, whoa, dude, you know, we only have, you only have a few minutes. And he's like, dude, this is important. You know, I want to talk to you. Let's do it. So we did an interview uh, in on the sidewalk at night, and I just held the camera like a doofus, and I was like, hey, let's talk about life and stuff. It was actually really great. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, my first From the Archives is going to be some of the interviews I did with Zoog from Angel Spit. I'm super excited. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody's having a good week. If you have a question for me for next week, please put it in the comments down below. 
Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to get a little pop-up that says I did another thing. Um, I have a Facebook, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Pinterest now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My mother is so proud. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you want to hit me up on a social network, you know, let me know. I have a website. I'm working on it. It's old. It needs to be updated. But, yeah. Anyway, have a, a good week, you guys. And thank you for entering the spectral realm. Now leave. You are wanting to leave. You are extremely hungry and you need a snack. Or you'd like to go outside. In fact, you may already be outside. Did you know you were outside? That's what happens when you exit the spectral realm. Okay. Do 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 to subscribe.